Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning I'll be talking about the fulfillment of prophecies. But before I do so, I'd like to explain to you some of the different ways that I hear from the Lord. And the reason I'll be doing this is because many times I hear prophets or prophetic people would come and they would say that I've heard from the Lord. And I myself would wonder, how did this person hear from the Lord? Was it through a dream, a vision? How did they hear? And so for this reason, I'll be explaining to you. Also to help anyone who may be interested in the prophetic and how it works. Okay, I hear from the Lord audibly, just as I'm speaking now and you can hear me. This is one of the ways that I hear from the Lord. I also hear through dreams and visions. There are also times when I would have a download of information where I would know everything that happened as if I was there when the events took place. Okay, those are some of the ways that I hear from the Lord. As I've said, I'll be talking about fulfillment of prophecies. We are back in lockdown. We are back in lockdown. I did a few videos saying that we will be going back in lockdown. Even whilst we were still in lockdown, I was saying it. And so here we are again. The Lord also gave me a date when we would be going in lockdown, though I never disclosed it because I didn't feel that I should tell the public. And so I kept it. The Lord then told me that we will be going back in lockdown, but it will be earlier than planned. So the Lord warned me, he told me that we will be going back in lockdown, but it will be earlier than planned. But I never really took much thought of it until recently I was doing some research online and I saw a news article that says Boris Johnson sends security to minister's home to check phone after lockdown leak. Senior cabinet ministers, including Matt Hancock and Michael Grove, have reportedly been asked to surrender their phones while an investigation into the information being leaked to the media is ongoing. It comes after plans for a second lockdown in England were leaked to the media last week forcing the Prime Minister to announce a new national restrictions before he had planned to do so. The Prime Minister was forced to address the nation during press conference on Saturday the 31st of October to outline plans for a month-long lockdown in England following a spike in corona cases. There is much more to this story, but I just wanted to capture the main parts that I will be speaking on this morning. Then within minutes of reading the article, the Lord spoke to me audibly and revealed the name of the person who leaked the information. Though everyone is claiming, they're claiming that, you know, they're not guilty of this, they've not done this, they've not spoken to the media. The Lord revealed to me the name of the person who revealed the information to the media. And so this is why the Lord wants to sort out governments because there's too many dysfunctionality going on in the, the government. 
you know, there's no unity in the government. There are people who are betraying each other and the government cannot continue in this way. And so this is why the Lord revealed this information to me and will continue to expose governments and leaders. Okay, so this was the reason why the Lord was saying we will be going back in lockdown earlier than planned because he knew this person was going to leak the information to the public. I also did a prophecy where I talked about changes to the UK's constitution which will cause unprecedented doubt and trepidation, which we can see happen, which we saw Boris Johnson proposed to take place. So just after I made this prophecy, Boris Johnson went ahead to propose for changes to be made to the UK's constitution, which caused a whole lot of upset as I saw and heard in the spiritual realm. I also did a prophecy about seeing China's exports stocked up and not going out, not going anywhere. And I read while I was doing my research, I read that 600 billion US dollars assets, hundreds of large Chinese companies were in crisis and so this was what I was seeing in the spiritual realm to come for China I saw their export as I've said not going out all stocked up in this vision that I had and so I knew this was about to come though the Lord talked about you know leaders of the world governments not turning to him taking the praise I knew it would happen because of what I heard spiritually, but also because I had that vision showing me exactly what was to come. I know this is happening all over the world and will continue to happen because the Lord says it will. But this is what I saw in the spiritual realm for China. And so prophecy has been fulfilled again here. Okay, these are my few words for today, but I also want to remind us of a few scriptures from the Bible. In Romans 3 verse 23, it says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We were all born into sin. We have all been born into sin. We've all come short of the glory of God, the scripture is telling us. But in Romans 6, verse 23, it tells us that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God through Christ Jesus is life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. If we look at it in the, the natural we work and we earn wages and so it is in the spirit realm. We work here on earth and we earn a wages, which is death. But the scripture is telling us that the gift of God, this free gift that we do not have to labor for, the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Also in John 3 verse 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God loves the world that much that he sent his only begotten Son to die, his only Son, Jesus, to die that we may have life and have life more abundantly through Christ Jesus. And so on this note, brethren, I want to say if there's anyone 
who don't know Christ Jesus as their personal saviour, I'm encouraging you to do so before it's too late. Tomorrow is not promised to any man and we could die in our sins at any time. And so I want to say, if anyone, there's anyone who don't know Jesus as their saviour to receive him before it's too late. There are also those who were once with Christ, but they've now turned away from the faith. I want to say to you, return to the Lord before it's too late. Return to the Lord before it's too late, because tomorrow is not promised to you. There are also those who are still professing the faith, but the lifestyle that they live it does not reflect Christ at all. Turn to the Lord. Repent of your sins before it's too late. You are walking with one foot in and one foot out. The Bible describes it as being lukewarm. Return to the Lord before it is too late. Let your light shine that the world will see and glorify the Father which is in heaven. So I'm encouraging you this morning to receive the Lord now before it's too late. Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.